Welcome to Charts Today Energy. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 5th of December comes to you from London. And we're seeing the energy mix mostly down this morning. Well, it's actually down pretty much across the board. Uh, US NAC gas up. Um, and we're seeing sentiment really being a, a driver. US markets closed today for uh, George Bush um, uh, day of morning but we are seeing last night big falls in uh, stocks we were down over three percent so the, the trade wars between China and US uh, the truce sort of we're, we're rearing its head again and um, and uh, investors rethinking looking at the macro we're seeing dollar back to strength just um, holding its uh, bull trend uh, on, on all three time frames now really euro weaker against that uh, stronger dollar and uh, Japanese yen we're seeing that is a flight safe haven so we're seeing quite a lot uh, pushing towards the yen sterling is up slightly this morning but still bearish against the dollar with downside targets and uh, against the euro sterling is still in the short term downtrend Swiss franc uh, also bearish here as well um, so we are just seeing across the board uh, that sentiment uh, being pretty low. Uh, gold is actually just holding its bull trend, so up in a, it's it's down slightly, but holding its bull trend in a weak market. And um, also we're seeing U.S. bond yields now sinking lower, turning medium to bearish. So just the sentiment change across the globe is is really still pretty negative. Uh, crude oil actually was down um, nearly two percent this morning. Uh, we saw that deterioration away, but just in the last half hour. So we've really seen a climb back in uh, crude prices to come. Just uh, Brent Dow down about 1.1%. We're still bearish on the uh, medium term chart, but short term holding the bull trend. So that's quite interesting. And looking at the targets on the one minute chart, we still have these upside targets in train. They're not negated. If we fall below uh, $60.60, we will then uh, negate that uh, upside target of 69 And also we've got a new downside target we fall through that level we activate that downside target to 58 so just keep an eye on those one minute charts uh, for the outlook for Brent um, WTI similar picture of course uh, and we're seeing that rise this morning so crude oil uh, pushing higher we are just in a short-term downtrend on uh, WTI uh, so we do although we do have this upside target we do still uh, have this downtrend and a downside target so keep an eye on those one minute charts for the picture to unfold US nat gas uh, holding on to its strength sitting at uh, four dollars fifty nine this morning so we are seeing here a real um, uh, uh, push ag against uh, the, the most other things and we're seeing you know, gas just has been rocketed and holding those gains so uh, really looking strong the fact that we're holding on to those gains it looks like an ascending triangle building here and uh, that's that's only bullish of course we're seeing the correlation is very negative towards crude oil um, and that's no big surprise crude has fallen heavily over the last several weeks nat gas has risen uh, looking at the uh, heating oil chart we see uh, it's recovering a bit this morning but a much clearer downside potential here and looking at our bob we're seeing here also um, lower this morning down just under one uh, just under one percent although we've the whole sort of uh, oil mix has actually improved very dramatically over the last hour uh, looking at coal, we're down 1% this morning. Uh, this data coming to you from uh, 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 Thomson Reuters Icon, of course. If you're running Trayport, then you'll have probably higher visibility on your uh, prices and therefore the targets. Looking at the one minute target, downside potential of 79.80. If we activate this target, a move below 84.70 would do that. 80, $80, $80.20. Uh, 82 was given and nearly met. 79 would be a push lower, of course. 78, 80, 79.80. Uh, so the move below $80 is looking possible now for coal. Uh, Richards Bay, uh, less liquid, of course, but also looking uh, pretty bearish. Emissions down 2.2% this morning. So we are seeing a deterioration there. Not much short-term targets there for emissions, but uh, we are just seeing prices just gradually breaking down here. No upside potential at the moment. Uh, MBP front month we're seeing down 1.3% this morning. Again, uh, we've got this actual target now 64.90. 
so that's the target we're pushing for at the moment. We're see, seeing the deterioration away this morning, not following crude oil prices, that's for sure. TTF uh, also lower and downside targets there as well. So quite key. Italian gas down 1.8%, uh, looking pretty bearish as we might expect. German power down 1.3% on the um, chart at the moment, deteriorating away uh, this morning and a downside target of 50 uh, euro 60 is where we're looking at the moment. 51.12 was the target given um, and we're quite close to that now. Uh, French power uh, down 1.4% as well. Uh, so we're seeing just uh, really the whole power mix uh, moving lower there. Uh, Dutch power lower, Czech power down one and a half percent with downside targets, Polish power down one percent, really the whole mix lower and Italian power down 0.8 uh, percent. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.